I wanted to take this time to talk about an important topic, kids in hot cars. Now, so far in 2020, 14 children have died inside a car, one right here in Southern California. And it doesn't have to be hot outside. This is how it occurs. Shortwave radiation or sunlight gets inside the car. Now, long wave radiation exits the car with the doors open. This keeps the same temperature outside the car and inside the car the same. But once the door shuts, the long wave radiation is trapped and can't escape the car. This makes the car act like an oven. So let's say it's 80 degrees outside. In 10 minutes, with the door closed, the car heats up 19 degrees. Now watch this. In 20 minutes, it's 109 degrees. Our bodies have a difficult time cooling when the temperature is above 105, and children's bodies heat up five times faster than adults. This situation has now become deadly. 30 minutes, 114 degrees. Cracking the car window doesn't help. 40 minutes, 118 degrees. 50 minutes, it's now 121. And after an hour, the car is 123 degrees. Now, I chose this 80 degree temperature for two reasons. It was today's high in Los Angeles, and it's a close average of the temperature of our two most recent vehicular heat stroke deaths in Southern California. In November, an 18 month old boy in Walnut was left inside a car with an outside temperature of 73 degrees, only 73. A few weeks ago, a 22 month old boy from Fullerton died. Historically, more than half of the children who die in a hot car are forgotten. More than a quarter gain access on their own, usually from kids playing and getting into a car and unable to get out. Now, 19% are left intentionally. Some people don't know how quickly a car heats up, just like I showed you, and they leave babies in the car while they run errands, for example. Now, you often hear us say, look before you lock. But since COVID, this year, six of the 14 kids who died in a hot car were not forgotten. They got in on their own while playing. And with almost all kids being homeschooled next semester, please teach your kids never to play in a parked car. And if you're ever missing your child, check the pool first if you have one, check the car second.